primer on small projects around the home, then you would want to wash your brushes out. So removing as much primer as possible, washing them in methylated spirits, and then washing them again in warm soapy water. So you can store them and then use them again. But if you were continuously using this, sort of every other job, then it's just a waste of time washing these out. So all I do is pop them in this container. So a bit of methylated spirits and then put your brush in and then leave them, no problem. I've actually had my brushes in here now for, oh, it's, it's over two years now. Um, never had a problem. If they dry out, say you're not using them for three or four weeks, then simply put some methylated spirits in, pop the lid on and it'll be fine. So, as with these here, I've left these to dry out, go hard. Um, usually you'd find it a problem, especially if they were oil brushes. You'd have to put them into a uh, paint stripper to get them softened up again. But with these, no problem. Just remove the lid. Pop the brush in. Touch of methylated spirits. And leave that. And with this one, I'm literally just going to put it straight into the uh, primer. So, again, it's gone hard. That's as quick as that. That's well, soft again now. So again, not a problem. Like I say, the brushes in here, I've had in easily up to two years now. So, pop that one in there. Now, if it's a new brush that you've bought and you put into this, then what will tend to happen over a period of time Is if you've got a painted handle this will start to soften off and it will start to come away so right there you can see that just peeling off so it's not a problem you just end up just removing it so you've got a wooden handle but by far is the best way of storing these brushes don't use water, it's not the same principle as an oil brush. Well, the methylated spirits will keep them soft and you won't have a problem. I'll oh, just take a look at this other one now. Yeah. So that's softened up. Completely soft.
va fatto. And when you do use this, use pure bristle brush. Use a natural pure bristle brush. I'll just put some in this tray. And then for broad areas, you probably want to use a roller. And this is a sponge roller, and I never use them. I've learned not to. So, I'll show you what happens to this. It's when you start to soak, when it starts to soak up, and you start to use it, it takes a little bit of time, but generally, starts to soften up and swell. You'll find that it won't happen with um, an emulsion roller. Well, I've not found it happen yet. So already that's starting to get a bit distorted and it's going a bit funny. So I'll just keep working it. What you might find with one of these is you may be able to do a small area with it but then you will have to throw this roller away because you can't store it because the methylated spirits will just keep working at it and eventually it will just start to fall off. With the old emulsion rollers, mini rollers, you can pop them in there and they'll last. I've been working that for a bit now and um, when you're working up to corners and things you'll notice after a while that they start to tear. That is literally just the edge of the roller within cutting through. So you can see there now the difference in them. Move this out of the way. So these things will soon fail on you. Better to use an old emulsion roller. Keep these for your oil paint.